Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to quickly go over how you can remove shows from your library and YouTube TV, as well as how you can get rid of your recordings. So what we're going to do from the homepage of YouTube TV is go over to the library tab. And then whichever show that you'd like to remove from your library, just scroll down to the bottom, find your recordings area. This is going to have all of your shows that you have saved in your library. Let's say I want to get rid of Gunsmoke, so I select that show. And then all I have to do is click on this check mark right here, and then that'll get rid of it from my library. So things will update here, and again, scrolling back down to my recordings, and now Gunsmoke has been removed. Now, there's no official way to completely remove or delete recordings from your YouTube TV recorded shows. This isn't that big of a deal because you have unlimited DVR storage, but there is a couple of things that we can do to kind of work around this. So selecting one of my shows that has recordings, and you can see it has this little DVR label if it has recordings. So one way to kind of get rid of it so it doesn't get lost in the shuffle is you can click on this little menu option here on the side, and then you can click Mark as Watched. So then this makes it a little easier to manage as to which episodes you have or haven't seen. Now also, if you remove a show from your library by unchecking it, it'll stop recording these shows in the future. And then for them to delete off of your recordings, you just have to wait for them to expire. So clicking on this episode right here, I can see that these recordings will be deleted and they will expire on this particular date. So those are going to be the ways that we go about removing a show from our library and marking something as watched or seeing when they will be officially deleted from your DVR recordings. But again, like I was saying, you have unlimited DVR storage, so you shouldn't worry too much about how many shows that you're recording. And it is nice that there is a feature that you can go in here and mark things as watched so it becomes a little less confusing as to what you have or haven't seen. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you back here next time.